Okay, so I'm gonna add some green, um, do some tiger flage on it, just add a little bit extra. So we got a stencil cut out here, already been used. Mm -hmm. Kind of want to just preview what's gonna be painted before we spray it. can's gonna go soon. There we go. Then we'll just let it dry and move on. Bazinga. Sweet. Actually, I'm gonna do a little bit right there because we kind of missed it. I was doing test to make sure I'm not spraying myself in the eyes or something. <laughs> Perfect. It looks nice and messy. That's actually what we're going for is messy. It breaks up the outline. As far as this goes, uh, let's leave that for later. This will look cool right there huh? on the handle. Yeah, it's all gonna fall off the rubber probably, but whatever. Oh, nice and messy. And then, let's go. The trouble is with these stencils, especially if you've been painting on it, it's kind of crusty. You can see why a lot of people don't like that forward assist. When you're painting, it gets in the way. <laughs> well, you know, it's a thing that's not needed on the rifle. I know, I know. That's <laughs> Did you, uh... Feel free to argue about that in the comments section. <laughs> well, you know, you don't fucking need it. <laughs> um, I was actually thinking about doing a video don't touch your forward assist. Ever? Yeah. There's no reason to. I mean, do you think of a reason right now? I could come up with one. Oh, what is it? Uh, well, let's say you got the bolt lock back and you need to open it up real quick. You need to actually open up the rifle? To un the undo forward assist? Unfuck something? If the bolt is locked back and you need to open up the rifle, you can't open it with the uh, buffer tube back. With the bolt carrier group inside, like halfway there. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying it could happen, right? Couldn't it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know about that one. I don't know. I, I didn't. I didn't take any of these into the desert. <laughs> I, my my uh, imagination is what comes up with this stuff. There we go. That should be more or less dry enough. So you always do it before every time you test. Yeah, you you uh, spray. Make sure you do a little. Just like that, so you know it's oriented in the right direction. You're not about to get a face full of spray paint. <laughs> Does that sound like something that I learned the hard way? <laughs> <laughs> what I learned recently is uh, when you're fashioning tourniquets, you have someone um, taking your tourniquet off, look away. <laughs> and you have somebody else taking your turn. Specifically, when you're practicing, yeah. When when it's with a uh, a rat, you know, because it got that tension in there. Oh, because otherwise you'll help. I I got punched in the face. Is what that. Oh, I see. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Right at the beginning of class, I'm like, dude, no worries. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, let's just make sure nobody shoots each other. <laughs> Hey, where did you get this stencil from? I just Googled uh, Tiger Stripe stencil uh -huh. and uh, printed off a picture. So, he if ordered. somebody owns copyrights to this stencil, uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think you can copyright camouflage patterns. Oh, uh, well. Um, Unless you're the government. Can you order these from a website too? Yeah, I think they're kind of expensive. Uh, if you're going to be doing a couple rifles, it'll be worth it. Last I checked, the ones I found, you could actually, it would look like this, and then you peel off stickers instead of cutting it out like I had to. Uh -huh. And uh, maybe that's worth the effort and the time if, if your time is that valuable to you. But, um, I mean, I normally just use I think 20. it was like 15 bucks, 15 yeah. or 20 bucks for a stencil. Yeah, normally I just tear a piece of cardboard and 
or a bunch of pieces. Yeah. Or paper bag also, like grocery bags. Starting to realize the horizontal stripes are presenting interesting challenges compared to the other way I did this. No. Yeah, maybe it looks cooler. The barrel is always kind of like weird where you're like, ah, nothing looks good on it. Yeah. Whenever I do it. Especially once it gets like broken in. Could add a little bit more there. Go for it. See, the thing is, when you're applying these base layers, I actually did brown first because I wanted less brown, more green. Mm -hmm. If you apply, for example, a layer of brown stripes, you want a lot of brown stripes so that as you cover it up later, it looks like a medium amount of brown. Because mm -hmm. uh, whatever we do on the first layer is not going to shine through the, the textures as much as you might think. Right there. And that should be good. Cool. I'll flip it over. Alrighty. I actually usually give it a little bit of time to dry, but we're shooting a video. That is a PSA. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The left side is always a lot easier to do on the receiver because it's much flatter. I think a leaf might look realistic, but we're not going that route. Oh, we can note too. Oh, how well the camera can see it, but that that black I put on definitely was a bit shiny. Yeah, I can see that now. I, I don't think it's really the end of the world or whatever, but no. it, it was uh, it was something to note too. The well, the point is to break up the outline, mm. and if you're having shiny stripes, it sure doesn't look like a rifle with somebody shiny something at you. No. It looks like oh, this guy's got shiny tiger stripes. Well, it's Why like I mean, I. It's like if you were to test that, good. test that like in the woods or whatever, and see how much it reflects back at you, or um, if, if you shine a flashlight on it at night, like how much is it really gonna matter? This is pretty much I think it's, um, it's probably something that people are making would make a bigger deal out of than they need to. Maybe, yeah. If somebody's already lighting you up with a flashlight. <laughs> Nice and messy looking. We'll go a little bit more. Sick. One of the tricks to doing this is uh, instead of just going over, like looking at it like a 2D image and just kind of going like this. Mm -hmm. You kind of want to approach the bottom of the hand guard, the top of the receiver, the, the different angles, you know. So as you're moving your stencil around, just bear that in mind. Yeah, like you do uh, an individual part, not just a exactly. section. That's pretty green. We'll probably hit that with a little bit of tan right there. Well, yeah, and like I said, this is actually one of the earlier like lower layers we're going to cover it up with other layers of stripes mm -hmm. so by the time you're done with like say a brown or dark layer at the beginning you kind of want it to look too dark for your liking because you are going to cover it up still do we want to cover up the no that's button fine. here okay just that's make sure we didn't forget it yeah it'll wear off over time anyway if you're using it yeah well uh, actually this yeah the whole light like I painted that <laughs> this for shits and giggles when I was painting a bunch of other stuff and uh, the rubberized texture on the light, the paint just rubs off of it anyways. Exactly. So. so as you can see, if we were looking at it like a 2D image, top like side to side, that looks pretty good. But we've neglected a lot of the handguard down here. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna lay this. Which is another wear spot. <laughs> another wear spot? Yeah. yeah, that's actually a good point is like if you want to keep the paint, remember that the wear spots are going to be wherever your hand is i've always found that like right around the grip like this part of the grip is where most of your like weapon manipulations involve your right hand 
holding the entire weight of the rifle, tilting it up, tilting it down, and everything. That's going to be one of the parts that wears away first. Mm -hmm. Obviously, your left hand's going to be right here, so that'll be wearing away pretty quickly, too. And then there's also the mindset that you kind of want it to wear away because it looks awesome when that happens. Mm -hmm. It's actually... Yeah, just say it's actually not. Okay. And I was going to say, we could do the barrel first or do the light first. Do the light real quick. But I was going to say, I think you want to do the light first because if we do the barrel, it'll look nice. And then we'll get a bunch of splash coming off of the light. Yeah, do the light so real like, quick. Consider the, the sections you want to do. Let's actually do it. And as you can see, this stencil has already been used. There we go. By the way, guys, if you want us to do another pattern, we might just keep painting this gun over and over if it gets a shit of views. <laughs> what pattern do you want? Should we should we do a snow camo in Florida? <laughs> I just I like tiger stripes, so that's why we have this stencil. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna do under there. Just give it some color, and then the barrel. Very lightly. One thing is worth pointing out, you don't have threads for like a suppressor. Mm -hmm. If you have a fancier muzzle brake or flash hider or something on there, it's got actual fine threads for a suppressor. You would want to cover that up with tape first, because otherwise if you're painting over it, it'll mess with uh, the threads, the, the very fine teeth of the threads that have to interface mm -hmm. with the barrel. And if you want to see that, I'm pretty sure I did that on the uh, AK-1. I did that on mine if you want to just like show a picture of it or something too. And again, the whole point of this is to make it look nice and uneven, kind of messy even. Sick. All right. Um, I might actually, here, take the camera over here and look at it from like that angle. Mm -hmm. With the sunlight, you can kind of see that as we're going at it like a 2D image from either side, we kind of neglected the top there. Mm -hmm. So it still remains kind of light. Now, since this is one of the earlier layers, we do want to still cover it up because we're going to be applying more tan later on. And if you don't apply enough dark colors now, it's going to look super bright and like uneven. Suspicious almost. There we go. That looks pretty, pretty nice. Sweet. Do you want to right. let this dry and then do another one? Let's do exactly that. Okay, cool. Well, I'm actually going to do a little bit of that. So right. what we got to decide next is if we want to do uh, dark lines with tan circles or tan lines with dark brown circles. Normally, I'd actually give more time to wait to dry in between these. But we're kind of just using this as like a method of trying to see what we like better. And I'm basically just being like, yeah, do whatever the fuck you want. Let's just paint it again. It's your rifle. Uh, yeah. Okay. A rental gun, man. Yeah. Do you think it should look like that or like that? Uh, the next like section that we do. Um, I, well, I hate brown, so I like the, the first one more. You like the first one more? Okay. Yep. Then counterintuitively, we're going to actually do large sections of dark brown <laughs> to do tan over later. So, we actually don't need the stencil for this part. You just got to streak it? Yeah. Okay. To make sure this is brown, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before too. Yeah. For the you big section of like what, of wrong through. color. So okay, actually, why don't you stand on this side? That way the, there's the better lighting. Better. Okay. And one thing I've also noticed is that like, if you're trying to break up the outline, right? Mm -hmm. One of the best ways to do that I have found in terms of determining your pattern is to put the darker stuff on the outside edges, like the optic, the bottom of the grip, the stock, and like the, the front, instead of making it light on the edges. Because if you're carrying this on your body, having light edges against whatever you're wearing tends to like make the actual outline of the rifle stand out. 
Well, I mean, it's we can try it. It's it's actually totally counterintuitive to a lot of a lot of camouflaging methods. Like if if um, uh, for in, instance, face camo, you know, your your eyes, your nose, your mouth, all that, you want that not to be dark because that's places that have shadow. So. I mean, do whatever. Okay. We'll see. I would just. But, look, I've looked at a lot of pictures of like boogaloo boys that protest and stuff. Yeah. And as they're standing there with their kit and everything, they've got to paint it up. And it's like the optic, the grip, and the the stock tend, and, and the magazine tend to be parts that stand out as what like yeah. peripherally look like the rifle part. So those are the parts. I mean, that, like, I think it also depends a lot on what you're wearing versus what color your gun is. That's so, true. Well, so if you're mean, wearing bright red flowers. Like, yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, I would probably, I mean, I don't give a shit, do whatever you want, but to myself, I would disagree with it. Yeah, it looks like someone shit all over my it gun. It does look like poop. It looks exactly like poop. So, stop shitting on my PSA, you poor haters. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe some there. Maybe a little bit there. Alrighty, now looks like someone. Where it, it gets like it, it's like taken up. It's like someone held their baby up and just let it spray shit all over the. Game. Yes, it does. But I'm telling you, man, the brown looks pretty awesome if you do it all right. That's the thing. <laughs> and we can show like a, a picture of the the pattern that I put. Actually, had vertical stripes on mine, so it's mm -hmm. a little bit easier to determine the pattern if you're looking at it. But uh, so we actually do want this to dry again. <laughs> God damn it! You mess with it too it take much. forever. It, yes, it does. It's kind of like an all afternoon. Trip. I gotta get to the range today, man. Are you meeting people there? I mean, uh, Paul there. Paul? Yeah, from Fight. Oh, okay. I don't remember if I met him. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe. You probably did. All right, then. I'll tell no you one what. signed up for close contact today. I was gonna do that class with them, but fucking, I don't know. Whatever. I'm not happy people did a low light more than anything. Okay. So, as we go about doing this, you want the pattern to lay as, this is why you want it to dry, mm -hmm. but you want the pattern to lay as close to the color you're about to paint over as possible. If it's further away, the paint kind of gets through and it misses the pattern a little bit. So I mm -hmm. might actually do this. Yeah, that's dope. Like it doesn't look like brown anymore. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't look like poop. I had mean, pretty pretty close to what I did on the AK too. Yeah. And then we can get that little fly in there, get him stuck in there forever, immortalize <laughs> him. Uh, let's actually do this. One thing is that, uh, so you saw we had dark brown first, and then mm -hmm. we lay a mesh, and then we do light pan. It's going to look very light because all you're seeing is tan, but as we remove it, then you'll see what it'll finally look like. It actually shows the striated pattern there. And so, you yeah, one thing see... that's important with this too is when you're doing the laundry bag, try to keep the, the sprays minimum because you'll, yeah. you'll look at it, you'll think one thing, but. Like the more you spray, the more it um, it just does that that color. Yeah, and like as you can see, I kind of put a little too much there. Yeah, like here, just do like one quick spray on this part. Okay. Oh, I kind of. All right, this, this, that's fine. Leave lift it. Lift let's it. Let's, let's it look out. at. It. There we go. Can't see it what looks we're like about. a much better pattern. Yeah. Even then, it, it's like it's very tempting I to do another. I am gonna get rid of the the baby shit brown though for you. <laughs> I'm just not gonna miss. There we go. Better. Mm -hmm. That's why I do a lot of like shots where I'm not painting anything because I just there's no way to aim this thing. There's no iron sights. <laughs> and so let's actually let that one dry a little bit. We'll go here first. And again, you want it to be nice and close. The stock is always a really easy part to do. Mm -hmm. Go. 
That forward assist, man. That, that always the forward assist and the shell deflector always kind of add a weird little bump to it. And like we said before, you want this to be nice and close to what you're painting. So if I just lay it over, we've got some pretty cool patterning going on right there, and we don't want to paint over it. So I'm going to try and avoid that, make it almost sort of a shape to fit the forward assist there. There we go. And it might look stupid for now. There we go. Bingo. Not too shabby. Is that too much brown for you there? We could do something about that. We could actually yeah, add yeah. Like, oh, yeah. some yeah, of this it. of green with the pattern. Yeah, do it. With that in mind, actually, I don't like how light that is. I yeah, do it. Let's do that. Just go fucking crazy on One it. One thing we haven't shown the video yet is you can do the stencil with the pattern. This actually helps hold the stencil in place pretty well. This. Let's actually put it at the edge. Just like that. And the stencil is nice and dry so I can do that with my hands now. Was well, this can. Let's do some green. One more little spray right there. And awesome. <laughs> Sweet. Alrighty. Um, pretty good on this side as far as whatever colors you want. Would you like it darker, lighter? I don't care, man. Like, Alrighty. I think it actually looks pretty cool like this. Yeah, I might just do a whole another paint job later too, so. I don't... Okay. Do you want it like mine where it is like vertical stripes the whole way? Do whatever you want, Lily. I really like the vertical stripes, I'll be honest Go out for it. it, go fucking crazy on it. I, I'm gonna go fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, let's do. Let's leave this side. We'll leave this side as an experiment. Alrighty. So green. Yeah, so much more green. So I'm going to do. There's probably one person who's going to watch this that's going to hate the whole thing all the way. Through. Yes, they're going to be like, "That is the ugliest, <laughs> shittiest paint job I've ever seen." I really like doing this with the tan. It Good. almost looks like snake skin. Yeah, that's it. I feel like the vertical stripes are easier to work with than the horizontal ones now. Let's actually do that here and there all around this whole thing. Uh, we'll let that dry. Were you, were you gonna hit this with a bunch of brown first again, or? We can. Uh, you do what you want. Actually, but... I'm starting to really like how yeah. little brown and black there is. Mm -hmm. And like, just kind of make like that all the way across the whole thing. Yeah, do it. And um, if you're wondering what color you, you want to do, guys, again, I think fucking tan is good to go anywhere. Yes. It may seem bright like in Florida, but it's an earthy color. And um, I think it just works. And even though you put a, you know, a tan gun in the grass, I don't seem to think it, that it sticks out too damn bad. But. Yeah, not too bad at all. I mean, if you look at everywhere in the U.S., there's usually a little bit of tan yeah. in the ground. So. Especially here in Florida, where there's like sand everywhere instead of dirt. Alright, let's do your light. Looks like there's going to be a few of them out there. Hit this shit. Yeah. I was letting that dry because 
as you can see our stencil mm -hmm. has like one section that I'm not really using. You gotta let it dry a little bit before you start smearing your stuff. Either way to do this too guys would be just take a fucking laundry bag and um, just put the whole gun in it yeah. and just tie it in certain points to keep the bag tight to it and then put like again a torn piece of cardboard over or your sensor or over yeah. or just streaking it. I've seen where people, yeah, they just put the rifle in a bag and then they just kind of rotate and twist the bag so that it's like more textured in other spots. Hey, you said you did the Rhodesian War. Um, did they use CAR 15s there? I have no idea, to be honest. I don't remember what weapons they used. I just know. I mean, I, I want to study it. I really don't know fuck all about it. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> I mean, look on a map. What does it say? Yeah, I know. But... Zimbabwe, which I'll admit is a cooler name for a country. No way. Don't say that either. <laughs> God damn. Zimb I would much rather be a Zimbabwean than a Rhodesian. <laughs> Rhodesian sounds like Belgian almost. You know? I wouldn't say that, man. You just fit. now they're pissed off. Now they're pissed. <laughs> <laughs> but I was gonna say like the Rhodesian brush, uh, brush stroke on either an F FAL or a fucking um, Car 15 to be well, you can't a mess fun with the one. Classics. Everybody knows that. One. I think they use. I'm pretty sure they had FALs. What's that? I'm pretty sure they used FALs. I don't know about car 15, so. Yeah, I don't know. I, what year was that war? Oh, jeez. I'm not going to say because we're on camera now. If I just guess and I'm totally wrong, I'll look like an what idiot. What decade? Decade? Oh, man. Um, Damn, you actually said this. You're supposed to fucking know. I can study this. I thought you did. No. I study all kinds of other stuff. Oh, okay. That particular one, I said. All right, never mind then. <laughs> it might be. Oh, I think it's yes. my other friend. Your other friend, your other Wes. No, not other friend, Wes. Tyler. <laughs> there we go. So that looks kind of cool. Yeah, that looks pretty dope, do. actually. I like that. I'm gonna just I've never bought green spray. spray paint, so. Never bought green That's the one spray paint that matters. No way, tan. Well, I'm not going to argue your AK spray, spray paint job is pretty good. Awesome. Oh, uh, you gotta see the RPK one I did. I actually like put thought and effort, and it's oh, probably, yeah. man, it was it was dope. I, I think I got it in my email. All right, uh, anything else you want to do to it? Maybe uh, just check out the other side. Do you want more stripes there? Yeah, probably right here. Okay. I mean, unbrownify it. It kind of looks like it's, it's like a two-faced gun right now. Yeah, bit. exactly. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Or you could do do right the same here. thing with the green. That might look dope. Yeah. I think it will. I don't want to get too many different. This going to be just like 25 minutes so far of spray painting a gun. Well, you can like accelerate it. Like the video, right? Nah. I think I might just do it as, as, as it is. That way you get an idea for what it's really like. Let's actually let that dry a little bit. We'll go there. Because right. I do kind of want to press it down. You want the stencil to be nice and close to what you're painting. This is a dead one. Hang on. This is tan. There we go.
You know a trick some guys use, and well, I don't know if they do it anymore, but I never did it. I never saw it, but more like dudes that were in in the 90s and shit like that, in the 80s, in the military, you know how they clean their guns? They think, yeah. <laughs> they black spray paint. <laughs> black Cordura everywhere. No, I mean, spray paint. Spray well, paint. yeah, but I'm just picturing the 80s style was very much like... Well, not in the military, they, they never use... Well, no, they never use... Probably not. Really I'm just picturing paint. like the uh, all the Bruce Willis movies. Yeah. Like that movie what SWAT. The, you ever watch SWAT? Yeah, it actually was kind of a cool movie. I like that movie. It's super cheesy. If you're okay with cheesy, it's a yeah. great movie. It's got Samuel L. Jackson. I love Samuel Jackson. Mm -hmm. The hard part about watching some of those movies, like the cheesy ones, is like I'd watch them with my dad, who was a, he's a veteran, you know? And he would do the veteran thing of like, that's not realistic and blah, 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 blah. And I'm yeah. like, like, let me enjoy. The whole Claymore scene. I don't know, like when one? they bust open the lock with the Claymore. Oh yeah! <laughs> like, make sure it's facing this way. It's like, bro, it's just a bomb at that point. No, the the worst one that 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 hurts me every time I see it is in The Walking Dead. Like the first episode, dude's oh, they holding do a fucking wrong in that one. Yeah, well, he's holding a goddamn Glock, and he, you know, he's like, maybe we'll end up on a show or something. And the guy goes, you just make sure you have a round in your chamber and the safety's off. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, I was like, what the fuck? He's a cop carrying a gun. Of course he should have a round in the chamber. And there's no fucking safety on it. Like, I think the idea was to imply that they were like redneck podunk cops. And that no, guy had never no, no, seen no. any action in his life. That's an acting thing. And that actor... Well, no, it's a writing thing. And that actor's Australian. So he doesn't know what the fuck oh, he's saying. Yeah, they don't know he doesn't know that that line is terrible, you know? <laughs> yeah, hey, that looks pretty dope. Still would be cool to be on one of them shows. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty dope, I think. Yeah, I like that. Nice and uneven. You got a good mix of colors. All right. Yeah, this looks pretty sweet. All right, so that's like, you know, basically, what should we call this video? How to use a stencil and... Uh, painting with a stencil. Painting with a stencil. Painting, painting a rifle with a stencil. stencil. Okay. Yeah, I think that's You want that's some more green cool. right there? I can do whatever you want, man. Again, I might just paint over the whole damn thing again. You might, you know, <laughs> that's the cool thing about shitty paint jobs that you don't feel bad about adjusting them. Time. Maybe I should repaint my I just AK. realized I was going to put more green and I was like, I'm using gray. Maybe I'll repaint my AK though. By the way, the baby shit brown does look a lot better when it's dry. <laughs> like it's shiny. Oh, I know. I got, I got brown on everything. It's shiny because it's like wet, you know? Yeah, I think that's, that's pretty sweet. Get close up in there. All right, well, maybe we should do it from this side. That'd probably make more sense. The fucking shadows make it so hard to see. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Comment below what paint job do you want to see next. Uh, <clears throat> then, um, if there's a different method you want to see or whatever, let us know too. Um, yep, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you to all my students. Thank you to my friend and student for coming out and helping out with this video. And uh, yep, keep fighting communism. Remember that training saves lives.